if you don't pick it up when you see it and go back honey it's gone it's off uh, at least this side or this side depending on how the section will Hey you guys, it's Kivia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I did promise my subscribers a living room tour. So here it is. I still have some decorating to do, but I wanted to show you what I've done with this space so far. So I'll give you a pan first and then I'll tell you where I got most of the items from. Okay, so my living room set is from Rooms to Go. This actually, when we saw it in the store, it was set up as a sectional, but we decided to separate the two because of the shape of our living room. It was going to, you know, close off uh, at least this side or this side, depending on how the sectional would, would have been set up. Um, and I think with sectionals now mind you i love sectionals but you are limited on you know changing up the way you decorate and i've had one before and the way they set up sectionals is like you can only set it up a certain way so i didn't want to be limited on that so i just decided to go with a two-piece set um yeah but the the sofas did not come with the pillows that I have on here. They actually came with some blue and cream color um, pillow covers. Well, it came with a lot of pillows, but that wasn't my color scheme. So I decided to remove the covers and get my own. So the ones that you see, I actually purchased from Amazon. Um, I have some there and then some over here as well. I did make these two frames here and that video is on my channel and I'll go ahead and link that below if you were interested in seeing how I did that. Um, the lights above those, they are picture lights and I did get those from Amazon. Um, this is the Ikea lac shelf here and I just wanted to do, you know, a few DIYs for this shelf. So um, the plant down there, I've had that plant for so long, I couldn't tell you where I got it from, but you can probably find that anywhere. The two vases there are from Amazon. I did make the books. I just painted these and put our names on it using my silhouette. And I also have that DIY on my page. The decorative books I just purchased from like Dollar Tree and Goodwill. And usually I'll try to take off the cover to see, you know, how the the hard cover looks, how the shell looks, and if it would match my decor. So that's what I did with these. Um, and then I just purchased like little stuff like this from, I wanna say like maybe Target or something. Uh, I can't remember where I got that from. But yeah, these are just, you know, little knickknacks and stuff that I put on here. Once again, the, the books, you know, came from like the Dollar Tree and Goodwill. And that plant up there is actually from Ross. But yeah, I was pretty satisfied with the way that that turned out. And this was also another DIY that I 
made for the guest room and that's on my page. And if you wanna see that guest room transformation, you can also find that video in the description box. All right, and here is the fireplace. The two plants are from Ikea and the plant stands are from TJ Maxx. This banana leaf plant is from Ikea, so is the pot. I wanna put something else inside of there, like some type of moss or something, just to you know, make it look more finished or some rocks, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. Um, that picture is from Ross. Can't remember if I mentioned that already. Um, so, the coffee table is from Amazon. Um, also, let's see, the books, the, the Louis Vuitton book is from Amazon. And then this is Nikki's book. So if you watch Nikki Boyd um, on YouTube, she is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers and she, got me started on being so obsessed with organization. So check her out if you have not already. And I have this flower arrangement here. I got the vase from Hobby Lobby and the flowers are from Michael's. Yeah, this little tray down here, that is from um, Ross. And I have to buy like some little moss balls or something to put inside of there. These decorative books are from Ross. And they actually open up, so I just keep my remotes in here just to kind of conceal that. The rug is from Amazon. When I tell you this rug is so soft. It wasn't cheap, but well worth it i just sprayed some scotch guard on it when i got it you know to protect it but um we don't wear shoes in the house and we don't eat in the living room so i'm not too much worried about spills and stuff but you know just in case um i did spray some scotch guard on it the chairs are from mm, i think amazon amazon or walmart I'll leave it in the description box below. I can't remember where I got them from, but um, yeah, they're actually from Amazon. Yeah, I remember now. So from Amazon. But what's been throwing me off with the colors is the different shades of gold. I know that's kind of a thing now, but it's a big deal for me. <laughs> like I don't like too many shades of gold and I'm not a huge fan of like bright gold i like more of a subtle or a matte gold so with the chairs i thought they were going to be like a different shade um that's more like a bronze color but i mean i could spray paint the legs but the way that this piece is on the chair my husband was telling me you know just to cover the fabric part but i'm just scared I'm going to get paint on it. So I was like, I'll just leave them alone. If anything, I'll spray paint the table a different shade. Um, you know, because I know I can't really mess up the frame. But if I try to mess with these chairs, I'm scared I'm going to spray something on the fabric. So I'm not going to bother with it. The curtains are from Amazon. The curtain rods are from Big Lots. Um, this garland right here, y'all don't talk about me, but <laughs> this was a garland I had up here from Christmas. And it doesn't look like your traditional garland. That's why I left it here because when I removed it, the fireplace just looked so bare. And then I was trying to conceal like wires and stuff, even though the, the TV is mounted above. Um, like this little wire is hanging out, but uh, I don't know. It just, I was like, well, what can I put here? And I was like, well, this looks like everyday garland. So I'm gonna just leave it. And when I decorated for spring, I just stuck these flowers in here 
I still have my spring decor up. I was like, whatever, it's gonna be summer decor too. But yeah, I just like this the subtle colors. Um, so I kept that there, but yeah, for, for Christmas, I'm gonna take that down and put something else up. So maybe that'll be like every day, um, all year round garland and I'll put something different up there for Christmas. Okay, the um, this blanket ladder, someone made it for me when we were stationed in Hawaii and the blankets are from Amazon, the gray ones and the cream colored one is from a company that I did a collab with and that company was uh, Zonely, yeah. I did a collab with them on my TikTok. Um, that blanket is really soft too, and I love like the waffle pattern on it. Right. So I might as well throw the kitchen in here too. So the table is from Walmart. Um, looks like I need to clean it, but <laughs> this is from Walmart. Um, I just wanted something small, you know, because. This eating space is not that big, so I didn't want anything too big in this space. Just something for us to sit down and, you know, have dinner or whatever. Even though we don't really sit down and eat together anymore, which we need to get back to because that was a big thing for us. Like, we had to eat together and there was no electronics at the table. Now everybody seemed to need to watch TV or something when they're eating, but we are gonna get back on track. All right, these pictures are from Ross. I originally thought I was gonna get three, which I picked up two and you know how Ross is. When you go in there and you see something that you want, if you don't pick it up when you see it and go back, honey, it's gone. So yeah, that was my situation. So I need to find something else to put in the middle because of course I probably won't see those pictures again. I found one at one location and then the other one at another location. Make sure you get the items that you see when you want them in Ross because it will be gone. I did give y'all like a quick pan of the kitchen when I did my kitchen organization video. But yeah, this is the kitchen. Um, I really wanted like a marble countertop uh, but the builder that built our house like we couldn't customize a lot of stuff um, so we had to you know pretty much just go with this like this was actually standard um, this granite wasn't an, up, an upgrade and I see like this is like the typical granite for every house that uh, includes granite in it is like this is like the standard granite for everybody. I've seen so many YouTubers who have the same countertops and stuff in their kitchen. Um, yeah, so I am still going to change out the knobs. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the correct measurements so I can order those because I've ordered so many and had to send them back. I'm just fed up with it. So. And I don't want to spray paint them like I mentioned before. I don't want to do that because when I did the ones in my boys' bathroom, um, they only had like maybe four or five. The, I see that it's already starting to rub off. So I'm going to replace those with just, you know, regular uh, pulls. But I have to wait until I can figure out the measurements. That's why I had to end up spray painting theirs. But I have way too many in this kitchen to be spray painting. And then once that paint starts rubbing off, it looks real tacky. So it's just going to be, you know, this brush nickel for the moment. Yeah, but um, and I don't like a whole lot of stuff on my countertops. I, I really despise clutter. So I keep it very simple. And this is the island here. Pantry, which is a mess, so I'm not gonna go in there. Um, yeah, and I'm still, you know, debating about putting that gold 
like you see, see I still have these up here I haven't removed them yet and obviously I haven't completed it so I think I might go ahead and complete it but I think I need to wait either I need to complete it now and then once I get the gold knobs everything will tie in together but um yeah I just wanted to add like a gold touch to my backsplash and I originally went with white subway tile because the countertops were so busy I didn't want a whole lot going on in here so that's why I did that um yeah my boys started school so you know I left a little note here they was not intrigued at all they're getting older so they could care less I have a senior and I have a fifth grader I'm so sad about this me and my seniors last first day of school picture as a senior so when I start putting his collage together I'll um I have to make sure I include that maybe I'll I'll post a picture I'm gonna blur out his face so you guys can see like I made him a sweatshirt and everything but yeah he he's so grown now makes me sad but yeah, these flowers match the ones that I have on my coffee table. And um, then I made this little two ring wreath. This was spring stuff too that I still have up, but I was like, whatever. I'll just, it's gonna stay up until I decorate for fall. I know that. Um, yeah, my little sign is crooked. Uh, just says believe in yourself but this is where we hang our keys at that's my alarm panel there calendar um, oh I didn't say where I got the bar stews from the bar stews are from Amazon as well so the base of the bar stews actually came in that bright gold that I told you guys I'm not too crazy about so I spray painted the base to match the base of the table and then actually match perfect so i think that's the color i'm probably going to spray paint my coffee table too because that gold is too bright for me but yeah um this vase i got from ross and it has the top too uh i just have that in the cabinet um what is that called uh what do y'all call these jars i forgot i'm gonna put it on the screen but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, the home sign is from Ross. Uh, this is from Ross. This little small cake stand is from Amazon. Bath and Body Works candle. I told y'all I've been obsessed with like the little small ones, um, the one wick candles. I went to the semi-annual sale, so I picked up a few of these. Uh, this one smells really good. And they still got the try me sticker on there but um yeah i love the smell of that candle uh what else oh let's talk about this light fixture so i got this um fixture from amazon matter of fact prime day this was one of my prime day buys uh i thought it was going to be bigger than what it is don't mind the light bulbs either because these are not the bulbs that's going to stay in here I just put those in just to, you know, test it out, make sure it was working. Um, but I think it's too small. Like I didn't want anything too extravagant because this is not a really large space and I didn't want it to be too much in here, but I think this is too small. So what I'm gonna do, I was looking on Amazon. I think I'm gonna add a medallion to the ceiling to make it pop a little more and make it look larger than what it really is because it just, it looks too tiny to me, but um, I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna change out these light bulbs too. So y'all don't come for me, please. Uh, yeah, but what else is there to talk about in this space? Um, this picture right here is from Ross. Yeah, the black picture above my pantry that is from Hobby Lobby. And then the the fixtures over the island. I think, did we discuss these the last time? I can't remember. But yeah, I found the light bulbs that I was looking for. So these are the daylight ones. The only thing is the, the brightness 
does not expand as much as the other bubs. It just kind of stays right over the island. Um, but I do like the shade of it. Like I do like the uh, the daylight tone. I, I don't like that yellow look, especially now that I'm recording. You know, I want everything to look bright and clean. But yeah, my husband put those up. So um, yeah, I just need to change out the knobs, um, the pulls, and possibly add that gold to the backsplash. And I think I'll be done with the kitchen. We're gonna eventually customize our pantry, but right now, like I said, it's a mess, so I'm not gonna go in there. Um, the light above the sink, um, we need to change that out too, because that one actually matched the pendants that we had hanging uh, above the island before. So I just need to find another fixture to go above there. Or I can probably spray paint the base, but I think I'm gonna just find something. Um, yeah, you guys, but I think I talked about everything. Um, it's still some, pa some paces. It's still some spaces down here that I have not finished yet once I get started on those, I will, you know, bring you guys along. Um, this little stand right here uh, is from Ross. The vase is from Amazon and the flowers inside of it is from Hobby Lobby. So I think I got these like around Christmas, these stems, but they don't look like Christmas stems. They look, you know, like everyday decor. So I just went ahead and kept them up. Yeah, this is the entryway. Excuse my Amazon boxes. You can see through that mirror right there. But yeah, so this is my downstairs, you guys. And I'm using this cinematic mode on my camera. So I hope it's not coming off blurry, but um, it's looking clear to me. So hopefully you guys can see it good. Yeah, so I wanted to thank you all for watching my video. As always, thank you so much for your support. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. And until next time, my friends, take care. Moving slowly, so we already in.